we as educators actually have the opportunity to share with parents too oh, because not every parent might have that in their toolbox to understand why certain behaviors that we might perceive as negative are actually happening if your child is having a meltdown in the middle of tesco's as a parent that can be triggering it can be frustrating it can be stressful and that can lead to a near meltdown as a parent as because a parent. you get angry frustrated you know why is this child not doing what i think they should why, why is this happening exactly and as educators we have the opportunity potentially to support parents to actually understand why that might be maybe the lights are overstimulating maybe it's the noise we can help parents with that and actually interesting it reminded me of a, um, something that occurred during the when restrictions were lifted and we were all allowed to go back out again and the three and a half year old we'd been out all day coming back from our various ventures around the city and um, we got over a bridge and he just stopped and he sat and he was running off and I said please stop and then I found myself becoming frustrated because he wasn't listening to what I said so he immediately had um, he immediately became dysregulated and I said to him take your time we sat together on a bridge there were cars going by there were people coming by to and from busy area and lots of people were staring at me and going what are you doing and I, I just said I'm giving him space to calm down wherever you may be he was feeling dysregulated because he couldn't understand why I'd said stop and it was because the part I couldn't see him over the other side of the bridge but I allowed that child the time and space in that moment to be experiencing his emotions feeling his emotions and in the end he said to me I was feeling a bit sad and the answer evolved naturally rather than me going how does that make Rob feel which often can bring about our own conformist standard on their expectation.